What's up, everybody? Jay's here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Last break of the night. This is 2019-20 Panini Impeccable Basketball. It's a three-box case break. Random teams number eight. And this is an early bird break, so if you buy one of the first 20 spots sold, uh, you get a chance to win a free spot. Uh, since we actually did a couple of pack fillers, uh, there was only actually 15 total spots sold straight up. So we're just going to do the 15 customer names. And then uh, number one, after the randomizer, gets the early bird free spot. So we use the same dice roller for the early bird, the customer names, and then if you have your name in there with cello 44, 45, you're in there because of a cello pack. Everybody else bought them straight up. And then there are the teams here. Let's paste them. And our last case of impeccable. Let's see if we can end it off with a huge bang at the end of the night. So let's roll it. And we got ourselves a two and a three for five times. Number one gets a free spot. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Wow, last spot mojo. Five times. Boom. Chris, you got a free spot, man. Boom. That's awesome. All right, five times now here on the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. Sean, down to David. Five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Knicks, down to the 76ers. So, Sean, you have the Knicks. Danny with the Magic. Gay with the Bulls. Danny with the T-Wolves. Richard, you have the Kings. Uh, Kevin with the Nuggets. Aaron, you have the Heat. Joe with the Suns. Ryan, you have the Blazers. Chris, last ball, Mojo Thunder. Sean with the Wizards. Chris, Clippers. Hugh with the Cavs. Aaron, you have the Memphis Grizzlies. David with the Pacers. Ryan, you have the Raptors. Brandon with the Nets. Danny with the Hornets. Jun Yin with the Bucks. Chris, your free spots. Dallas Mavericks. Sean with the Jazz. Hugh with the Pistons. Ryan with the Celtics. Uh, Gabe, you have the Spurs. Renee bought straight up, got the Pelicans. Pascal with the Warriors. Dan, you have the Lakers. Two with the Rockets. Oliver, you have the Hawks. And David with the 76ers. So if anybody wants to trade, guys, I'll give you guys a minute or so for trades. If not, we're breaking. Yeah, the water went down the wrong part. All right, decons. We're just gonna call the trade with him, man.
Actually, OKC wouldn't be too bad in this decon. Maybe not now, but Darius Basley has been playing pretty well for the OKC Thunder. I think he had like 24 points today. Which I didn't even know, but <laughs> I seen today he had 24 points and then looked in his stats and like, oh wow, he's actually playing pretty decent. Are you in Seattle, Danny? I think you are, right? Oh, you're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking it. I was like, oh. I'm sorry, man. You probably hate me, though, man. Because honestly, not that I was stuck down with Seattle, but I just like the color green. Like, I don't know if you heard that before, but. So I like the Seattle Sonics, but when they left to OKC, I just continued to like the Thunder. Which, I know if I probably was from Seattle and I love the Sonics, I'd probably be hating the Thunder too. But you probably hate me for saying that either way, but I still root for the Thunder at least. But see what actually happened though. Did Seattle really not want to get a new team, new, reno new renovations or what? Like, what happened there, you know? Weren't the Kings going to go to Seattle at one point? You know? Like, what really happened that really left let them go to OKC? But, like, see, that's what I'm saying. Sacramento stepped up and decided to get a new arena or help out, right, the city. But back back in 05, 06, or 06, 07, did Seattle just really not have the money to, like, get a new stadium? Or did they just not want to have a team there anymore? All right, Marcus All. I, I don't remember. I was pretty young when that happened, but just always wondered. Calvin Johnson. It's 99. San Antonio Spurs. It's going to Gabe. But I think Seattle will have a team soon, though. It just fits so perfectly to expand to 32 teams. You just probably have to move OKC to the west. I mean, sorry, to the east. Because if Vegas or Seattle were to have a team, how are you going to have all those teams over there? And I feel like you should expand. Vegas should have Vegas should have a basketball team, too. I mean, they're, they're such a big city now. Yeah, and put New Orleans probably in the east. And there you go. You move New Orleans and... and OKC to the east just because they're kind of very borderline, you know, in the middle. And then you put Seattle in there. And then you put uh, the new team with Vegas in there, too. Gotcha. Oh, so the owner didn't like that the city wouldn't put any money, so he sold them. Uh, and then the new owner decided to just move them, right? That sucks, man. Well, then you can't really hate the Thunder, then. Or do you hate the new owner for taking him away from Seattle, I guess? Mark Price for the Cavs, the 99. Cavaliers going to uh, Hugh. I have a redemption or two guys, but I'll leave that to the end. Jalen Rose for the Bulls. 41 out of 49. Gabe. Oh, what a tease. Mikhail Alexander Walker. It's a red plate. Stainless steel. Or stainless stars. And that's 37 out of 60. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nah, I feel you, Decon. I mean, I don't blame you. I don't blame you for doing that. But at the same time, if the city didn't want to put any money into it. I mean, how, how is that going to happen, right? It's kind of like Oakland. 
right? The Oakland situation is like, Oakland didn't want to put any money into their stadium, into their city there. So, Oakland was pretty forced to move. And the same thing with the Chargers. You know, they were just very forced to move because the city of San Diego and them didn't want to want to help out. And it always comes down to money, you know. Nikolai Vucevic, 26 out of 49. Orlando Magic. That's going to Danny. Rookie autographs. Car number 130. J. A. And Jackson Hayes. There you go. Two Pelicans in this box. All we need to get is uh, Zion and we hit the trifecta. <laughs> Unless we get Nicolo Melli or something. <laughs> you mean ducks like Oregon ducks, decons, or you mean ducks like Anaheim ducks? I definitely don't like Anaheim ducks, but... Oregon, I guess, because you probably like the Huskies. Or do you like the Huskies or do you like Wazoo? John Morant. How about that? That is 99 out of 99 for you eBay 101 mojos. There you go. Uh, Memphis Grizz is going to Aaron P. I might pay for the spot right there. For the spot of admission. Or price of admission. And we got a one of one. How about that? A little base. Andrew Wiggins. Oh, arm just cracked. Ah, oh, sorry about that, Decons. Well, don't worry, Decons. I'm not that kind of fan. Those are the fans we don't want in any sport. You know? I actually just let the field do the talking. You know what I mean? That's right. Decons wanted to trade the T-Wolves, right? There you go. Tara Rozier. Uh, Charlotte Hornets. That's going to Daniel. And the Vucevic, that's right, that's right. Kyrie Irving. For Brooklyn. Going to Brandon. Oops, redemption. Thank God it was a redemption. We got Ernie Di Gregorio. 12 out of 25. Buffalo Braves. See who that goes to. I forget which one were the Clippers. Clippers. Oh, Buffalo Braves are the Clippers, right? Okay. All right. Thank you. The Kentucky Colonels are the one that have no affiliation with any team. That's right. Dave Cohen's. Illustrious Inc. 8 out of 10. Nice autograph, too. Celtics. It's going to Ryan Shackleton. So yeah, Braves, that'll go to Chris. We got Keldon Johnson. 24 out of 25 for the Spurs. Going to Gabe. And 
the last one here before the redemption. Is they had a 99, DeAndre Hunter, Stainless Stars. Atlanta Hawks going to Oliver. Yeah, Calvin Johnson actually, out of the three rookies, is playing really well, right? Rookie autographs hollow silver. Card number 129. J. O. Jordan. Jordan Poole. Very nice. Golden State Warriors. That's going to pass well. Alright guys, last box and then we still have the metal card. Depending on where he goes, Ray, I think they should be pretty big. I honestly think he is going to be really, really good. I said it before couple years ago I felt like he was gonna be the best ball brother because he got to play with the older ball brothers as a freshman in high school and it's pretty much playing against really good talent really really young so I think as long as he goes to the right team he should be able to ball and then he's grown to like a six foot seven like you know point guard and just got him better and I think what a smart decision you know going to to uh, Australia right where they're playing overseas play professional for a year Playing with grown men, that definitely helped him a lot. So I hope he does well. I, don't, I hope he does. Uh, 76 is going to David. And if he goes to the Knicks, well, I don't know. Would he go to the Knicks? Isn't RJ a point guard too? I mean, not that you can't have two point guards or two, two of them play on the same floor. But, I mean, he could. Victor Oladipo. I mean, you have Westbrook and Harden pretty much playing on the same floor, right? Out of 75, Oladipo, Pacers, Buddy Davis. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're pretty marketable. <laughs> That's for sure. So, you get a player like him, definitely helps. Kobe White, 47 out of 99. Bulls, it's going to Gabe. Another Ben Simmons, one out of 49. All right, this car's kind of coming up a little bit there, but that's Tyrone Lou, 10 out of 99. Just want to show that on the video. Going to Dan T. Yeah, he's just not. Yeah, he's just not the full like franchise player, you know. I think he'll always be a like a good player on the court, but you need like, you know, you need someone, someone different. We got Brad Daughtery to ninety nine. Honestly, dude, I would go to RJ two D cons. I feel like we didn't really get to see so much of him. The Knicks are not that good. So, I don't know, man. I, I really feel like R.J. Barrett is going to get slept on big time. And as you can see, some second-year players have just shot up. So, I would just, I would definitely start like a little small PC of R.J. Barrett. I feel like his stuff might just skyrocket. And, and it could, you know. Allen Houston, speaking of some Knicks. 280, or I'm sorry, 2 out of 25. All he has to do is just start balling a little bit. And then that's it. We got a Dylan Windler. Nice little patch auto. Three color patch. 14 out of 25 for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Hugh with that one. And the 
last one. Don't look, decons. <laughs> Darius Basley, 42 out of 99. Like I said, I think he had like 20 plus points today for the Thunder. Chris, last ball mojo. <laughs> All right, man. And the last hit officially, the metal card. Good luck. Yeah, this case wasn't the best case, of course, but sometimes it just just goes that way. Ooh, actually, don't speak too soon, Kevin. This will make it up. Oh, f oh my God! This definitely made the case right here. This is a four out of eight, LeBron James, and it's a gold. For the Lakers. Dan T with the Lakers. Well, yeah, this is like three, four thousand dollars right there. <laughs> That'll definitely make up the case right there. Woo! Case was not dry anymore. There you go. Four out of eight LeBron James. And that is a 14K solid gold or 12, no, half troy ounce of gold. There you go. So, Dan, T, with the Lakers, congratulations, man. Hit us up for insurance. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, hit us up for insurance. Jaspie's case rate that Gmail. Or support. Yeah, or click the support button, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Well, that definitely made it the case right there. <laughs> there you go. Darius Basley. You got Dylan Willer, RPA. Allen Houston. Daughtery. Tyron Liu. Kobe White, Bates. Oladipo. Ben Simmons, Stainless Stars. Pool. Redemption, DeAndre Hunter, Kelvin Johnson, Diego Gora that's going to go to the Clippers, uh, Dave Cohen to 10, Wiggins 101, John Morant, Stanley Stars to 99, Nola, Jackson Hayes, Redemption, Nikolai Vucevic, Nikhil Alexander Walker for the Pelicans, Jalen Rose, Mark Price, Kelvin Johnson, Kelvin Johnson, Marcus Saul. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.